from uh, Sail Tai Chi on board the Nautitech 40 Stella Maris. Um, she's from 2019. She's fully equipped for uh, offshore sailing or living aboard. Nautitech are good, but sail, sail very well. Uh, they are very pleasant on the sail, so you have two uh, aft helm stations, uh, which gives you more feeling. All your um, control come back to uh, the helm station so easy to maneuver a lot of feeling so on each helm uh, station um, you've got this bimini that protects you from the sun and you've got your instrument uh, so on port you've got the multi indicator and the chart plotter you can actually even have your pilot on the chart plotter and on starboard you also have uh, a direct um, control for the pilot so same thing i've got my um, chart plotter I've got the multi screen and I've got the autopilot. From here, I also have my engine's remote. Most of the control come here to the starboard helm. Um, so, here you've got your mainsail halyard and you've got your jib sheet with this one which, which is electric. Um, and here you've got your mainsail sheet and the traveler. Um, then, on port, You've got here the furler for the jib and obviously you can also use those two winches for your uh, cut zero. So really everything centralized here, uh, very nice when sailing and, and from here a really good view on your sail plan. You can see it's very safe walking around. She also has been equipped with nets, so it's perfect for kids. Um, nice and large um, forward area. You can see that, that really the, the bridge deck is, uh, is small. It's clearly a performance catamaran with long bows. Um, in here, you've got coming your, your halyard and your reef line. Uh, a rail system for the jeep halyard so very efficient and uh, your hooks for the reef lazy bag is in good condition here's your rail for the mainsail and you can see we've got 400 watts solar panel on the back and then 400 watts on the top 200 here and 200 on starboard it's a self-tacking jib so very easy to maneuver when you are short-handed um, and you've got a very long actually bow sprit uh, so that gives you a big cut zero uh, so that makes it um, quite a nice combination you've got this uh, efficient um, jeep self tacking so it's a bit like a, the sail of a solent uh, you can uh, you can go really close to the wind with it and then you've got your big cut zero the owners as you've seen have installed a, a fat boy when you're at anchor and you want to relax there it's perfect the rigging is uh, in excellent condition it's just three and a half years old. It's been constantly monitored. You can see that she's very clean, very well equipped. She even has a gas barbecue. She has a high field dinghy uh, in high balance, so very resistant to the sun and the weather. Uh, with a 10 horsepower four stroke uh, Honda engine. One of the first things that uh, you notice when you come on board the Nautitech 40 open um, it's that huge space which is completely connected uh, between the cockpit and the saloon um, so it's a boat that's really ideal to cruise under the tropics uh, because she's offered probably one of the biggest cockpit um, in her size uh, it's very nice on this one she's got the, the flexi tick so it's uh, gives a very nice uh, finish, a uh, big tick table. Um, you can see that you can have lots of uh, guests, quite amazing for, for a boat of just 40 feet. Um, and you connect directly 
if I show you um, to the saloon area you get a lot of air um, inside whether it's in the saloon area or the cockpit uh, thanks to those two front openings in the two top openings so you create this nice airflow which means you don't need aircon on this boat even on a very hot day like today in uh, the hot season in Tahiti inside the marina we don't need the aircon there's fans everywhere on the boat and that nice airflow that you can create so the um, saloon space in the Nautitech 40 is divided into two different areas on starboard you've got the galley uh, with a nice sink nicely designed it's below the countertop so the water doesn't flow everywhere like on some other boats um, you've got three gas hubs a gas oven a large working surface whether it's here or here or even here uh, lots of drawers so here for example you've got all the glasses uh, underneath here is uh, the garbage bin and all the cleaning product um, here that's for uh, your pans and the, and the, the oven um, the, the cooking place um, in here you've got one fridge there's also a freezer down below a big cupboard where you put basically all your cutlery all your plates and so on and here that's a space for all your uh, spices so very very practical design um, lots of nice finish everywhere and on port side you've got um, the chart table which can also be a dining table when you want to be inside in, a, in a bad weather um, and you can lower that table to have uh, a full uh, full length um, sleeping area here when you're doing your uh, night watch um, you can just be around here Notitech has a very nice um, system called Naviops which is connected to BNG so you see it on the BNG screen and you've got control um, to all, everything about the boat so right now I'm on the on the navigation system uh, I can uh, do my weapon everything you know um, I can uh, put my radar I've got the AIS I can see the the other boats around me so that's really the, the navigation I can see my speed I can see the wind everything but I can go outside of that um, into the Naviops which is basically all the controls for the boat by itself so here on this screen I've got the tanks so that's fuel tanks water tanks here I move to my battery level so you see we are at 13.4 97.8% charge at uh, midday because we've got 800 watt of solar panels um, but I can also access easy that's my uh, electricity um, so that's basically the command for um, the various like the, the engines everything is uh, is connects to here and then I've got a uh, different mode so now I'm in navigation mode which turns the instrument on uh, I can be at anchor mode it's gonna turn my uh, my anchor light on um, could be night mode uh, day mode uh, I can turn everything off if I want. Um, yeah, just telling me I've not connected yet to uh, the GPS and the IS. I haven't turned the instrument on. And here, basically, if I want to go here, I've got all the lights of the boat. So see, it, that's upper deck, my uh, cockpit light. I can go, I can turn it off, can go to uh, lower deck, um, lower deck, I've got my bilge pump, okay, I don't know if you can hear it, I've uh, started the, the bilge pump, um, and I've got the light, courtesy light everywhere, um, and obviously all those control, you can also access them directly in the different parts of the boat, uh, but so it's a nice system where from here you, you can have all the, all the control and then you can go to uh, the autopilot um, you can go to your chart um, 
next to it um, we've got the big uh, BNG um, VHF it's an AIS VHF so VIS is sent to uh, your chart brother here and outside so you get the information everywhere the two hulls are symmetrical she's the four cabin version which is perfect for a family with kids or a group of friends you can see that Notitech uh, definitely has a high quality finish compared to other brands you can see in, she's three and a half years old and looks really brand new with nice color a lot of white light gray and the beige for um, furniture it's a nice combination lots of storage in the in the hulls you can see so here you've got this big drawer and on starboard it's the freezer uh, very clean bathroom so big shower um, here you've got your charger and inverter, your aqua base water maker, 65 liter per hour, and here the Victron that monitors um, how much uh, power you're getting or, uh, or using. It's symmetrical on starboard. Um, the only difference is uh, here you've got the freezer nice cabin again with a nice finish um, there's a wardrobe in each cabin And again, very nice bathroom. More storage here. In the nice aft cabin. There's fans in each cabin. Uh, on each bed, you've got small reading lights, which you can turn in any direction you want. Uh, again, you can put your clothes here. Under each bed, there's a uh, storage. So there's a first storage here. Uh, you can see the textile uh, drawer, very practical, very light, so you can access directly. And then at the back, under the mattress, you've got big storage space. Um, let me show you. You can lift those in. You have at the back um, the fuel tank, yes, hot water tank, and then storage. So this Notitech 40 open, um, we actually sold her to her current owners. The first owner was a family who got her shipped by cargo to the French Caribbean. Um, she was rigged and prepared in the French and commissioned in the French Caribbean. Then they took a one year sabbatical sailed from the Caribbean to French Polynesia through the Panama Canal um, and we sold the boat uh, once they were in French Polynesia at the end of our sabbatical. We sold her to a family that lives in San Francisco. Um, they've had her for two years, coming on holidays here, sometimes even long weekend. They were here for Thanksgiving a couple of weeks ago. Um, when they are not here, we take care of all the maintenance, so it's a boat that We've got the full history about her, we know everything. So feel free to contact me. I think whether you want to enjoy her in French Polynesia, coming for your holidays and the rest of the time we can look after her for you. Or if you want to go cruising throughout the whole Pacific. She's completely equipped for blue water cruising. You can even see the e perm here. She's fully autonomous, 800 watt of solar panel, uh, 800 amps of battery. 65 liter per hour water maker, up-to-date electronics, good sales with code zero and self-tacking jib. 
uh, all the water toys so really about that's ready to go um, and I'll be pleased to to discuss we to discuss about how with you and, and talk about your project